All right, so hello everybody. My name is Haley. I'm with the Mid-Columbia Libraries. Thank you everybody for coming to the virtual event. Um, we are going to get started in just a few seconds. I'm going to introduce uh, our guest today, who is Scott Peterson, the Reptile Man. You guys can go find out more about him and his zoo in Monroe, Washington at thereptileman.com. But I'm going to let Scott go ahead and take it away. If you guys have any questions, you can type them in chat and I'll interject every now and again to get them answered. That's good. Okay. I like to start with turtles because turtles have been on the earth longer than any other reptile. They were on the earth before the dinosaurs. And the reason is their ribs have grown together into a giant layer of bone, and that's the shell. And it protects them. And since it works, it's been around a long time. Um, we have a turtle here that doesn't swim. He lives only on the land. So he's a tortoise. This is a desert tortoise from Africa. Yep, tortoises are the friendliest animals on earth. His name is SpongeBob Scale Pants. I know. And uh, you can tell he's a tortoise because his arms are covered with giant scales. He digs tunnels in the ground with his arms 30 feet long because it gets so hot in the desert, the sun would kill them during the day. He has to go underground to cool off. And he shares his tunnels with other animals. Even venomous snakes, they get along with him. He shares this one with everybody. They're really good for a desert ecosystem. Oh, the reason tortoises are slow, hear that? His shell is so strong, you can drive a car over his back and it won't break. So he doesn't have to run away from anything. Not even a lion can eat him. He just hides in his shell until the lion goes away and then he comes out again. And, uh, these two big points under his chin, that's how the boys fight. The boys are always ramming into each other. They flip each other over. The loser ends upside down. That's how they fight for the girls. So I'm gonna let him eat the grass. He's just a plant eater. He mows my lawn every day. Um, that's an African desert tortoise. Oh, and by the way, they, live, they can live 200 years. He's only 40 now, so keep that in mind if you get a tortoise as a pet. Oh boy, all right. Well, if you come to our reptile zoo, we have all kinds of turtles there, including a two-headed turtle named Pete and Repeat. They're fun to watch. Now, okay, got you back. Um, let's do lizards. I have a lizard from Australia, a very common pet uh, called a bearded dragon. Here we go. Now, the thing about bearded dragons is they will hang out with you all day. You, you watch TV with them. They just sit on your shoulder. Um, he doesn't bite or run away. And this is Pokey. It's covered with spikes, so animals can't eat him. He's hard to swallow. It saves his life. Oh, he likes to eat insects. And um, you can buy freeze-dried crickets and mealworms now. Um, you have to buy them live. You just get them freeze-dried in a jar. It's really easy. You throw them on a plate. He'll eat them. Um, but he's called the bearded dragon because when two boys see each other, the throats turn black. In fact, if he sees himself in the mirror, his throat will turn black and he'll attack himself in the mirror. The boys are very territorial, so that's how they kill each other. Um, anyway, wonderful little lizard, cute little guy. And, uh, but just remember, if you get a reptile as a pet, um, they can live 20 to some snakes live 50 years so big and they're kind of boring people get bored with them so don't get one unless you really want to okay but uh cute little guy all right now i have a lizard that climbs trees he's from the rainforest in asia i call him tarzan This is a monkey lizard. Check this little guy out. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, that's a monkey lizard, a prehensile-tailed skink. 
And uh, but he he can hang by his tail like a monkey because he likes to eat leaves and fruit. So he just lives in the trees where his food is, and some branches. Oh, you have to hold him by the tail because his claws are so sharp, they'll scratch you and make you bleed. He sticks a tree bark, but don't get scratched. He's green for camouflage, obviously, hides in leaves from predators. And I know he's a boy because many lizard species, boys have big heads. Yep, and that's because it avoids fighting. If two boys crawl up to each other, the one with the smaller head will see the bigger head and he'll just give up and go away. They don't fight. And uh, girls, though, girls have a big body and that's because they have a really big baby. They don't lay eggs. They have one baby and it's born alive after nine months, just like a human. And the baby can be one third the size of the adult when it's born. It's a giant baby. It even has a belly button like people. Yeah. Oh. Only two reptiles have a family. And this is one of them. Yep, both parents live with the baby inside of a hollow tree for a year and a half, and they protect the baby. You stick your hand in that hole, they'll bite your hand and protect it. Oh, the babies. They have to eat the droppings of the parents to get the good germs they need to digest their food. So they need their parents. Got to get those good germs. So that's, uh, he was born at my reptile zoo, by the way. Kids, I never catch wild animals and bring them home. If you bring home a wild animal, they're not happy. They don't live very long. So our animals were captive bred and raised by people. Now, only one lizard attacks people. That's the Komodo dragon. They're 10 feet long. They eat people in Indonesia. But my insurance won't cover those, so we're going to talk about venomous lizards. The only lizards that are poisonous or venomous are from the desert in Arizona and Mexico. It's the Gila monster and its cousin. So let's see if the Gila monster is a monster. Oh yes, this is Sheila the Gila. Yeah. She's not a monster. If you ever find one of these in Arizona, just relax. They won't attack you, but never pick them up. You pick up a wild one, they don't know you and they'll get scared. Oh, if they bite you, you won't die. But it will be the most painful experience of your life. They say this is the most painful animal bite on Earth. That bright pink color is a warning. There's pain here. But she knows me. I've had her over 20 years. We're really good friends. Wonderful little lizard. Yeah. Oh, they have a forked tongue like a snake, and that means they smell with their tongue. Her forked tongue tells her which way to turn to follow her food, and their favorite food is bird eggs. Oh, and when they find a bird's nest, they don't eat all the eggs. <clears throat> they leave some eggs in the nest. So the parent birds will have babies to raise. They'll have more food in the future. That's amazing, really smart. Oh, the tail, she can go a year without eating. She stores food in there. Her tail is full of fat and her body too. That is stored food. And because she's cold blooded, she doesn't need to eat as much. She only has to eat one tenth as much food as a warm blooded animal. It's an advantage to be cold blooded unless you're in a cold place and there's no fun. So, oh, by the way, reptiles have feelings and emotions too. They do. In fact, you have two brains. You have a big brain, the cortex on top of a little brain, the amygdala, the parts around it. The amygdala is where your feelings come from. And guess what? Reptiles have two brains too. And they have an amygdala. They have feelings. I've seen it many times. Sheila, she will go to sleep in my arms when I pet her. She's very affectionate, loves to be petted. Um, don't underestimate reptiles. They have feelings too, you know. All right, our next reptile is the smartest reptile, the biggest brain. This reptile, she knows 10 human words. She doesn't say the words, but she knows the words. When I talk to her and she plays like a puppy, she's very smart. Her name is Lucy.
Oh, yes. It's an alligator. That's right. The smartest reptile on earth. This is a juvenile alligator. Females get about eight feet. Males get 18 feet, but she's got a ways to go. Oh, Lucy, uh, Lucy does the trick. Watch. This alligator goes to sleep on the king. Okay, Lucy, you ready to do a trick? Or, okay, Lucy, please sit. Okay, sit. Good. Lucy, on three. Will you go to sleep? Okay. One. No, 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 no. Don't do yet. Don't do yet. Oh, man. Okay. Wake up. She didn't count. Wake up. But, uh, she really does go to sleep. I'll show you the trick. When you push down on their eyes, their blood pressure drops, and sometimes they pass out. Watch. Lucy, please sit down. Let's go. We just rub the eyes. That's all it takes right there. See, she's gone. Wake up, Lucy. Wake up. Yeah, but don't don't try that on a big alligator, okay? They have to be calm for that to work, yeah. Oh, um, crocodiles eat people more. So here's how you tell the difference. Look at her nose. Crocodiles have a long, skinny nose. Alligators have a short, wide nose. She's an alligator short nose. We have big alligators at my reptile zoo in Monroe. Huge, hundreds of pounds, they're huge, like dinosaurs. Come see them, they're amazing. We have an albino alligator there too. So that's, uh, that's Lucy. She's my favorite reptile. I love this gator, so. All right, see you later, gator. <laughs> okay, it's time for snakes. There are four kinds of poisonous or venomous snakes in America. Um, we have one of them, the rattlesnake. Uh, rattlesnakes only live in eastern Washington. Um, the other ones are the water moccasin or cottonmouth. And that's number two. And number three is the copperhead. And number four is the coral snake. Just one drop of the coral snake's venom will kill you. So coral snakes have a warning. They have red rings to tell you they're deadly. Coral snakes have red. I got red rings right here. Yeah, but guess what? Nature is full of tricks and this is one of them. This is not a coral snake. It's just a harmless milk snake. Milk snakes look like the coral snakes so the animals won't eat them. They've got red rings. So here's how you tell the difference. There's a poem that says, if red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. And if red touches black, you're okay, Jack. What does the red touch? The black. So you're okay, Jack, it's a milk snake, but if the red touches the yellow, you're a dead fellow, put it down. <laughs> um, coral snakes live from Arizona to Florida. They look like this, but the colors are reversed. Oh, milk snakes don't drink milk. You know why they're called that? Somebody tried to milk their cow. Their cow didn't have any milk. They saw one of these snakes in the barn. They blamed the snake on drinking all the milk out of the cow. The snakes don't do that. You know why the snake was in the barn? Rats and mice. Snakes eat rodents, yeah. And you know what rats and mice eat? Cheeses, cartoons. Rats and mice really eat seeds or grain like wheat and corn and rice. Snakes save our food, our crops. Yeah, because rats and mice have lots of babies. Some rodent species can have 19 litters in one year. They can have hundreds or even a couple thousand babies and they'll have babies in a one year. They can just produce 2,000 offspring and their offspring. So yeah, crazy. Huh? We need snakes. They save our food, our crops. Okay, um, but now you know what a coral snake looks like. Um, I did bring a rattlesnake to show you. So let's check this out. Uh, the snake hook. But don't worry, my snakes do not have their venom anymore. I studied animals in college. I have my degree in zoology. The day I get them, I make them go to sleep. We take their venom glands out with a little operation. I don't keep any snakes with venom. I don't do dangerous things, okay? Don't you handle venomous snakes. It's very painful if they get you. But uh, this rattlesnake is uh, from South America. It's a tropical rattlesnake. Um, Kind of different from the rattlesnakes up here. So let's let's get her out.
There we go. Now, you get it to look this way. Get a camera. Tell that. Now, why is she shaking her tail? Because she's scared and she's nervous. I'm a giant to her. She thinks I'm going to step on her and kill her or eat her. But she's saying, here I am. Don't step on me. And uh, trying to tell me where she is. She's in. She's coiled up, ready to strike. The rattlesnakes can only strike about half their body length. So I'm out of the strike range. She can't reach me. So if you ever see a rattlesnake, they won't chase you. You just walk around them. You're in no danger unless you get within half the body length. So just don't get close. She can't reach you. Um, turn around. Let me do. Tropical rattlesnakes have a small head and a really thick body. Oh, you got a little mad there. Anyway, but uh, rattlesnakes are actually one of the best rodent killers on earth. So please don't kill rattlesnakes. They're really good for people. Oh, rattlesnake bites in the United States less than 1% fatal. If 100 people get bitten, only one of them will die. It's very rare. And uh, you don't need to kill them, please. We need rattlesnakes. I love them. They're beautiful animals. So. Okay, now we have a venomous species from Africa. This is the number two deadliest snake on earth. It's called the Gaboon Viper. And um, hopefully we're gonna hear it first. This snake sounds like Darth Vader. It huffs and it puffs. And if you ever go to Africa and you hear this sound, you need to look down immediately and watch your step because this snake is very hard to see. And if you do step on a Gaboon Viper, well, two inch fangs, the biggest teeth of any snake. Their venom will kill you in 15 minutes. Number two deadliest snakes. So let's see if I can get him to make his sound here. Okay, see if you can hear it. He's not doing it very much. Come on. Uh, that, I'm sorry. That's a chicken. That's not the sound. Forget that sound. That's not the sound. Here's the real sound. Just get rid of it. Come on. He's not doing it. Oh, well. I'll just pick him up. Here he is. Gaboon Viper. Isn't he beautiful? Look at this. Yeah. Beautiful snake. Actually quite friendly. His name is Smiley. Check him out, he's smiling. Let's see. Yeah, see yeah, that smile. Little horns on his nose too. It's kind of weird, huh? Oh, look at the shape of his head. His head is a triangle, and that means he's a viper. Yes. All vipers are venomous. Rattlesnakes are vipers too. Watch out for triangle heads. And the oh the shapes. The shapes, the shapes on his back are an optical illusion. When they hide on the ground, they just disappear in leaves. In fact, look at his head. Head looks just like a leaf lying down in the middle of his head. It's camouflage. Yeah, they get, can get seven feet and 30 pounds, world's largest viper. And these guys can eat porcupines. They'll swallow porcupines head first so the quills point towards the tail. Oh, you sound, hear him huffing? Listen. A little bit there. Come on. You're not huffing and puffing. Yeah, they eat porcupines, and that's good because porcupines eat trees. So it's good that they eat porcupines. Yeah, how about that? Okay. Oh, the number one deadliest snake in the world is the black mamba from Africa. 
The mamba's bite is 90% deadly to humans. They are the deadliest animal. You know, the great white shark, their attacks are only 25% deadly. Mom is 90. Oh, now I've got a cobra. Oh, oh, you can see a black mamba at my zoo. I forgot to mention that. Come to our reptile zoo. We have a 10-foot mamba. But guess what? They're the world's fastest snake. He's too hard to pick up. You're going to have to go to my zoo to see him. I am done with him. But uh, let's show you a cobra. Now, cobras live on the other side of the world, Africa and Asia. And if you go over there someday, go looking for a cobra, good luck. I'll bet you don't see one. Because when cobras see you coming, they crawl away and hide in the ground. What? If you're crazy, if you jump in front of a cobra, you start kicking and poking at them. If the cobra can't get away, they don't want to bite you because you are bigger than them. You might bite them back. So instead, cobras act tough. They stand up in the air. They spread their skin out on their necks. The skin is called a hood. Oh, and when you see a hood come out, they're just bluffing you. They're acting tough. They're going, come on, I'll fight. But guess what? They don't want to fight because fighting is dangerous. Smart animals don't want to fight. And smart people don't want to fight. But if you keep poking, eventually their mouth opens. And when you see that happen, back up. They're asking you one last time to leave them alone. You poke after the hood or after the mouth opens, that's when they bite and cobras don't let go. When, you, when they ch bite you, they chew on you for 10 seconds or more because the fangs are very short and they are deadly. Um, this is also a spitting cobra. Uh, they don't spit like us. They just breathe out. They go, they squirt venom out of their fangs 12 feet to aim right for your eyes. Makes you blind if you don't wash it out immediately. Now he can't spit anymore. Watch him make a set. Hopefully he'll do it. Let's see. Ooh, there's the hood right there. Check that out. Oh, look at that. Big scary cobra, huh? Oh, look on the back of his hood. You see the eye shape. Some cobras have a pattern. That eye shape saves his life. Scares away the mongoose, saves his life. Mongooses kill cobras. They're like weasels. They sneak up behind the cobra and bite him in the head and kill him. It keeps the mongoose away. Oh, look, his hood's going down. You can't even see his hood anymore. See, it looks like ordinary snake now. No more hood. Yeah, he just wants to go hide, so. <sighs> Let him go hide. So even the world's deadliest venomous snakes, they'll leave you alone. You just leave them alone. Just watch your step if you're in a place where they live, but they really don't want to bite you. <laughs> you're a giant to them, okay. Um, now, now it's time for snakes that eat people. There are five snakes in the world that eat people. Got one of them here. But by the way, only one person in the whole world gets eaten by a snake every year. They think it's that rare, maybe one in the whole world. And uh, this is just a baby one. <clears throat> well, this Burmese python from Asia is one year old, kind of a baby, but someday he could be 400 pounds and 25 feet. Yeah, but pythons are not the biggest snake, anacondas are. They get 600 pounds. We have one at our zoo in Monroe. I can't even pick her up. It's huge. Uh, oh, you know, they've ever seen a python in a boa? Pythons lay eggs. Boas, the babies are born alive. Anacondas are boas. Their babies are born alive. And, uh, but uh, he, this snake won't eat you because he was raised by people. So he knows you're not a student, don't worry. Um, oh, how many backbones do pythons have? 300 vertebrae. And he has 10 thousand muscles. Um, amazing constrictors. Yeah. How do I know he's a boy? You look under the tail. Boas and pythons, the boys have claws. And uh, he can move his claws. That's how they tell the girls they like him. They tickle him with their claws. So he's a boy. So yeah, at our zoo, we have 20 foot snakes. Amazing big giant snakes there. Uh, oh, real quick uh, before I end. 
please check out my book. I wrote this book. It's called The Crocodile in the Cockpit. You can get it on Amazon. It's just $10. And it's got Lucy the Alligator's Eye in the front. But this book is about your brains and where your feelings come from. Really important book to read. Please get this book. Read it. It's very important. Uh, you learn some very some things that will help you have a better life. So um, check out my book. Come to my zoo. We're open now. We're open uh, in Monroe. So um, I guess... Cause that's all I've got. So thanks for watching today. Um, we do yes. have a couple of questions for you, Scott. Um, so Jer asks, how many species of venomous snakes live in Washington state? Just one, the rattlesnake in Eastern Washington. That's it. That's all we got. Okay. And then is there a place on earth except for the North and South pole that snakes don't exist? Plate. Well, I mean, they're, they're islands, you know, like, I think Ireland, uh, there are different places, you know, a few places, but uh, uh, I don't think they have any snakes in Alaska. Um, yeah, just the, the northerly latitudes. Right. Um, yeah, but they're just about everywhere else. getting too cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. How do cobras spread their hoods? They have extra long ribs on their neck, and they don't have a chest bone to hold their ribs together, so they just open their ribs up, rib cage opens up, the hood. Long ah. <laughs> muscles pull the ribs back in. It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, that is really weird. They're like little aliens. Oh my That's goodness. That's strange. <laughs> um, alrighty, let's see here. Somebody asks, Andrea asks, do you have a ball python at your zoo? Oh yeah, they're very common. We got ball python. <laughs> um, Aaron asks, when snakes shed their skin, it's a lot of S's, do they shed from their tail too? Yeah, it starts at the nose, whole body comes off. Um, snakes okay. can do it every three or four months. And you know why snakes shed? <laughs> it's not to grow. Everyone thinks it's to grow. It's to get rid of parasites, little bugs called mites that suck their blood. So when they shed their skin, all the bugs are gone. Um, you know, people shed our skins. We shed our skins every day. We just do it in little tiny pieces. Um, in just one hour, almost a million tiny particles of skin come floating off of each one of your bodies. You're breathing other people's skin all the time. Snakes just do it all at once. What about rattlesnakes? Do their tail, um, whenever they shed, do their, is their, yep. The rattle stays on. It doesn't come off, but okay. they get a new button at the bottom every time they shed. Oh, okay. But the old there ones break go. off, so you can't tell they are by the rattles. So. Okay, good. I'm glad you understood what I meant. <laughs> yeah. My brain stopped working halfway through. You go. Um, Lindsay asks, how many babies do snakes have at once? Oh, it just depends. You know, some of the big pythons can have 40, 50. Uh, we've had big pythons lay eggs at our zoo, a big pile of eggs. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and a lot of snakes give live birth. Like some of the boas can have 40 live babies. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. Do you have an anaconda? And if you do, how long is it? We have a really big anaconda. Uh, my son is running my zoo now. I haven't, I don't remember what she weighed in at, but I know she's, She's she's a big snake yeah. I can't even figure out. So but she's <laughs> still growing. She's gonna be a giant. Yeah. All right. I think that's all of the questions that we had. Okay. Uh do you have a garter snake? At our zoo, yeah, but uh <laughs> not with me now. No, there no. if you see a snake in Washington with a stripe, it's a garter snake. And by the way, there is a relative of the anaconda that lives here in Washington, eastern and western Washington. It's a little anaconda. It's called the rubber boa. And it's a close relative of the anaconda, but it doesn't have the spots. It's just a little greenish brown boa that lives in the forest. And uh, they move very slowly, like a slug. So that's how you can remember them. They're not fast. And the tail looks like the head. You can't hard to tell which end is which. It tricks predators. They don't know which end to bite. So if you find a rubber boa, they're out there. But they're hard to find, but they're awesome snakes. They never bite. Just don't bring home a rubber boa because they won't eat in captivity. Just leave them where you found them. But you, you're awesome. They're awesome if you find them. You can hold them. Rubber boas are cool. one of my favorites. Uh, what is your oldest snake? Boy, you know, I've been doing this 35 years. I can't, <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> I, uh, do you have any snakes as old as you? have 200 you? animals, it's just hard to remember, you know. That's it's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many times can snakes have eggs a year? These are uh, good some questions. snakes will do what they call double clutch, <laughs> but you know, generally once a year. But uh, yeah, and uh, they'll usually in the, the spring. So. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, sorry, got you there. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we do have another question from Michelle. She says, uh, what is the average lifespan of a snake? And also you get uh, a hello from Uruguay. Oh, wow. Uh, I know. <laughs> 30, to, 30 to 50 years. They think the rubber boa might live to be 100. A researcher, a uh, ball python lived about 50 years, but they found a rubber boa um, and a, ma a scientist tracked her in the wild for 50 years. They found her as an adult and they tracked her. She lived for 50 years. And uh, so they, they think maybe 100 on rubber boas because they're so slow moving, um, low reproductive rates. They just live a long time to replace themselves. So yeah, who knows? Makes sense. All right, we're gonna take maybe one more question if there is one and then we'll let you go. You bet. Where is the zoo? That's a good question. <laughs> Monroe is just east of Everett. It's on Highway 2. So if you're in Seattle, it's about 40 minutes. Um, but uh, just go to our website, reptileman.com or the reptilezoo.org. But just reptileman.com. And uh, we have videos on there to watch too. You can check out our, our websites. There's videos. Um, yeah, so... But come on up. Yeah, we've we got some pretty impressive reptiles there. 20 foot snakes, it's big. Right. Big we have one. a two headed turtle, like I said. Yeah, a lot of fun. And we're gonna do a, a virtual tour of your zoo for us, right? On September 18th? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. be up there showing the On animals. September 17th. Mm -hmm. 17th. Yeah, it's the 17th. It's the Thursday. Yeah, it's Today's the 18th and it confused me, yeah. it's okay. So it's, uh, we'll be up okay. there. I have one more snake related question and this will be the last one. This is sure. from Howie, age five. And he says, what is the smallest snake you have? Well, this, the smallest snake is a, a thread snake. It'll, it's the size of a matchstick that lives in the dirt. Um, but um, we don't have one of those. Um, smallest snake. <laughs> My son's always getting new animals. I'm trying to <laughs> I like know, you said, um, out of 200, you have to keep track of them all. Yeah. It sounds... Well, we've got some garter snakes are probably the smallest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All righty. That is it. Thank you, everybody, for oh. coming. So, that... yeah, yeah, thanks, Scott, for coming. Yeah. Um, I do have just a couple more announcements very quickly. Uh, the library will be doing another reptile zoo where we're going to be going through his zoo inside on September 17th, like I mentioned. That'll be at 11 a.m. right after my story time. Uh, tomorrow we have a Lego club, so you guys can join in on Zoom. We'll have more information on our Facebook page. And then also we have uh, a Creative Kids where you can paint rocks with us via Zoom. Um, and then we'll also do Marvel Trivia Night on the 28th. And you guys can find all of that information on our website and on our Facebook page. But go check out Scott Peterson, thereptileman.com. Go buy his book on Amazon. I think we also have a copy of it in the library if you wanted to check it out. Um, so... Very great, everybody. Thank you guys for coming, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.